and yom haseyo food enthusiasts today we are taking cauliflower to a whole new level with our korean fried cauliflower picture bite sized florets perfectly crispy and coated in a sweet and spicy korean glaze it's a taste bud adventure you won't want to miss i'm your quirky quest and i'm excited to guide you through this crispy and delightful journey before we embark on this korean flavor trip let's gather our ingredients One medium sized cauliflower. Water and salt for blanching. For the coating. One quarter cup refined flour. One quarter cup rice flour. One quarter cup corn starch. One half cup water. Add more if required. Salt and pepper to taste. One cup fine bread crumbs. Oil for frying. To make the sauce. Two tablespoons oil. One tablespoon chopped garlic. One tablespoon chopped ginger. One chopped green chili. Two and a half tablespoons Korean chili paste, gochujang. If you can't find the Korean chili paste around where you live, this is substitute you can use. 3 tablespoons kashmiri chili paste 3 tablespoons chili garlic sauce 1 tablespoon vinegar 2 tablespoons ketchup just mix all these sauce in a bowl and continue the steps after the korean chili paste 1 tablespoon dark soy sauce half a teaspoon crushed black pepper 2 tablespoons honey One half cup water. To garnish. White sesame seeds. Chopped spring onions. Cut the cauliflower florets and blanch in salted water for 3-4 minutes. Shock the cauliflower in cold water and once it has cooled down, drain it off. In a large bowl, add the refined flour, corn starch, rice flour and water, whisk to a smooth but slightly thin batter. Add the cauliflower and coat them well in the batter. Add the coated cauliflower in the bread crumbs and coat them well. Heat a pan with oil on medium to high heat and deep fry the cauliflower till it is golden and keep it aside. Once they're out of the oil, let them rest on a paper towel to absorb any excess oil. Now let's prepare the sauce. Heat oil in a pan and fry the ginger, garlic and green chilies. Fry till the onions start to brown. Add the chili paste and fry for another minute. Add the soy sauce, honey, pepper and mix well. 
Add water and bring it to a sauce-like consistency. Add the fried cauliflower and toss well. Let's add some visual appeal. Garnish with chopped green onions and sprinkle sesame seeds for that extra crunch. And there you have it, your Korean fried cauliflower, a crispy Korean delight ready to be devoured. If you're ready for a trip to Korea in your kitchen, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell for more international recipes. Enjoy this crispy and delightful journey, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy cooking!